Hi Pisces, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. I'd like to uh, say thanks ever so much for joining me on your reading. This is your 22nd to the 28th of April 2019 reading Pisces. So for the reading we're going to use the Druid Craft Tarot deck just to see what it is that you need to be focusing on for the week. Uh, the body of the reading is the Everyday Enchantment Tarot, Poppy Palin. Uh, we are using the giant right away it's just to get any uh, kind of random energies coming in and finally uh, what blessings are being bestowed on you guys in the next few days uh, blessed be cards by Lucy Cavendish all right let's get on with your reading Pisces so uh, here we go um, universe spirit can you just show me what is it that Pisces need to be focusing on what does Pisces need to be focusing on what does Pisces need to be focusing on between the 22nd and the 28th of April 2019? Show me. Oh, I've got an itchy nose. All right. All right. You need to focus on the Two of Coins. Some of you guys need to be focusing on budgeting, especially your money. Two of Coins is budgeting your money. Uh, two of Coins, uh, you, some of you guys need to be focusing on... Uh, you know keeping those balls in the air so this is all about trying to create a balance some of you guys are working too much not enough play some of you guys are playing too much not enough work you need to be focusing on creating a balance with that two of coins energy two of coins is also about being able to manage things okay in a very kind of harmonious way so you need to be just be focusing on creating harmony and just managing the various things that you've got to do but some of you guys might be really, really busy Pisces, but the Two of Coins is about being able to keep all of those balls in the air. So this is all about focusing on keeping those balls in the air and focusing on trying to keep that harmony and balance going. Let's have a quick look at what uh, the past situation is. So the focus needs to be on the Two of Coins. Budgeting, money, uh, you get Two of Coins and finances. Uh, sometimes this is not a lot of money coming in. And sometimes you've got to kind of make do and kind of work out some form of a budget. So some of you guys might be needing to do that, okay? We've had four cards flip out together. So in the past, the Nine of Coins energy shows up here. Uh, in the past, you had the Nine of Coins. So this is sometimes financial stability when you get the Nine of Coins energy. However, some of you guys, you had your money stolen. Uh, Seven of Swords, somebody took. Seven of Swords, when that shows up next to financial cards, it's talking about money being taken. Some of you guys, it might be also you had a break into your property. Nine of Coins is property, and this can be a break in somebody's running off from with the goods. Some of you guys have been feeling really upset by that with the Five of Swords energy. Knight of Cups energy, seeking probably some help with the Knight of Cups energy. And actually, Pis uh, uh, Pisces, that's you, the Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups is Pisces. So some of you guys kind of, uh, you know, um, and some of you guys, it's really funny because the Knight of Cups is things that we value on an emotional value, uh, basis. So some of you guys are really upset because perhaps if you've had a home breaking or a property breaking, I'm not saying all of you have, obviously not, but if some of you guys had a break in Seven of Swords to your home, where they, uh, home is the Nine of Cups coins and Seven of Swords is the breaking card, it's the looting, it's the taking card, so this is like a thief taking from the home. If you've had a break into your home, Pisces, some of you guys are really upset uh, with the Five of Cups energy because you lost something of emotional value, Nine of Cups energy, something that you valued really emotionally. And some of you guys, if you had money taken and uh, some of your assets taken, that type of thing, if you've had anything like bailiffs or anything like that, then you're really upset, Pisces, because with the Knight of Cups energy, these things weren't just of emotional value from the, um, for you. But some of you guys have also sought ways with that Knight of Cups energy. Can you see how he's the busker? Some of you guys have been seeking ways in how you can make the money back as well with that Knight of Cups energy. I'm just looking at him busking for money. All right. So some of you guys have really been saying to yourself, how can I get this money back? How can I kind of you know, make this money back, because you've had either something being taken from your home, uh, a break into your home, or there's been a lawful break in, i.e. in bailiffs at the door, and they've taken some of your valuables, or you've had money being taken from your savings, your bank account with that nine of coins energy. Some of you guys, if you've had a break in, or something that was lawfully taken, you're really upset because it was really valuable to you, emotional value, and some of you guys, Pisces, with this Knight of Cups energy, and that, uh, with the Five of Cups energy, really upset because with the Knight of Cups energy, you've been trying to make that money back, all right, by doing probably a job that you wouldn't do you usually all right um what is the thinking going forward on this uh pisces universe spirit what is the thinking going forward for pisces on this what is pisces thinking around oops well oh, that came out fervently didn't it 
the two of wands plan of action is the two of wands all right so your thinking is right i need to develop a new plan of action two of wands energy showing here all right because if you're doing something that you don't want to do with the knight of cups energy pisces in order to recuperate a loss financially it's going to be or property or valuables with that nine, nine of coins energy and the seven of swords there's a new plan of action that you're thinking of here with the two of swords energy but the ten of wands it's great pressure there's a lot of pressure here new plan of action ten of, ten of wands could be also with the ten of wands energy to do lots of things or to carry more pressure than you can do to carry more burden that could be probably doing more work Wand energy is all about work, and the Ten of Wands means lots of work, okay? Yeah, to get the money, King of Coins energy, to make the money back. So some of you guys, it's a new plan of action, because if you look at the Knight of Cups here, and this is you guys, pardon me, I'm sweating, I'm always sweating. Um, if you think about, uh, the, well, I'm not always sweating, it's because it's warm outside, so I get really hot. Uh, Knight of Cups, all right, this is you, all right, so you're that Knight there, and what you're doing is, can you see how you're trying to make the money with the Knight? Now, look. Tarot, when you do tarot readings, and I always get pictured cards, you can look at these cards in whatever way you please. It's what comes out to you in the card. Don't always think, Pisces, you've got to read a card because of the general meaning. That's nonsense. It's really silly. You can. It's up to you. But I choose also, as a reader, as an intuitive reader, to look at those cards and look at the picture and think, hmm, that reminds me of something. That reminds me of Pisces, you guys doing something menial probably, or doing something whereby you're saying, oh, or it could be that you're upset because you're only being able to make a small amount of the money back. Can you see? He's out busking for money. Can you? What drew me to this was the money at the bottom. Can you see? And also the birds. This is him having a chat. Birds represent communication. So the Knight of Coins is, Knight of Coin, Cups, sorry, this is you guys communicating with someone, possibly communicating with someone over how you get the money back. The uh, the cup in the, you know, the, uh, the cup with the, uh, because when you get a cup and it's holding out like this, you can be taking or you can be asking, all right? And if this to me, if this had been a Knight of Cups on another deck with a page of coins or a Knight of Coins facing in, the Knight of Cups is saying, give me some money. And the Knight of Coins or the page of coins is putting money into the cup. So there's a transaction there. It's not always about love. Trust me on that one. All right. See money in that cup there. So are you guys really upset? All right. Having a conversation perhaps. How do I get the money back? So really upset with that five of coin, five of cups showing here because you're having a conversation probably with the Knight of Cups energy. How do I get the money back? You've been having a conversation about how you're going to recuperate your losses basically on this situation. And that's why the thinking for some of you Pisces is, well, you know what? I need to devise a new plan of action. Possibly I need to do, you know, a lot of work. You can see this woman's like completely under pressure with all the work. I need to do more work in order to, with the King of Coins energy, get the money back. All right. The King of Coins is a hard worker. He will work to get money. He will work to make money. So this is all about you guys putting yourself under a lot of pressure to make that money back with the King of Coins energy. All right. The plan of action is to do a lot of work with that Ten of Wands to get the money back with the King of Coins. All right, what is the advice from the universe though? What's the advice, universe, for Pisces in this matter? What is the advice for Pisces? Let me have a look. The advice is the Four of Wands energy. So this could be family, something to do with family. This could be a social event with the Four of Wands energy. Okay, showing up here. This could be a new creative endeavor. So your Four of Wands, your advice is the Four of Wands. Possibly something to do with the family with that Four of Wands energy. Uh, an event. So the Hermit shows up here. So this could be an expert, all right? This could be an expert in something social as well. Social expert showing up here. Maybe you need to, uh, maybe you need to contact somebody who is an expert in four of wands energy, in homes, in property. Maybe you need to contact somebody about a property here. Somebody who's an expert in property matters with that four of wands energy showing up here. Devil energy. Uh, the devil. So this is all about material stuff. This is all about money. And making money and material things so an expert here is the hermit you need to so the advice is the four of wands let's have a look at how we can read the four of wands I don't think it's just telling you to be happy it doesn't make any sense to do that so the, the advice might be that you need to seek somebody who's an expert uh, an expert hermit energy showing here uh, devil energy can be transactions it can be money uh, with the devil energy showing here. Something about the home with the four of wands energy showing here now as well. Um, four of wands probably. It's an interesting one as your advice cards. Because the advice is to do the four of wands. 
Four of Wands is not necessarily a contact card. I don't read it as a contact card. I read the Four of Wands as a home card. Your, your, your advice is to do something, in, to, to look into something. It might also be that that Hermit isn't an expert. Sometimes the Hermit is an expert though, okay? Uh, an expert on problems. The devil is the problem though. Usually the devil is enslaved, all right? Uh, this person is enslaved to bills, for example. So this can be debt as well. An expert in debt, for example. Uh, Four of Wands energy. This is all about overcoming, I think, with this Four of Wands energy. Or home debt. Home debt. Debt within the home. Four of Wands. Not a business card, but more about the home. Home debt uh, expert. Uh, it's almost like you need to get some advice on how... To, or get some expert advice with the Hermit energy on how you can resolve the debt. Uh, Four of Wands is happy card. It's a joyful card. Uh, but it's also a card about the home. So it's almost like you need to get some expert advice on how you can with this four of wands. It's almost like stabilize. I think this is stabilizing. Maybe stabilizing the debt with the uh, devil energy showing there. Because this is security and stabilize. Stabilizing is the four of wands energy. This is home security as well. So, but I don't, I don't just think, I mean, I think certainly if there's something to do with your home here, Pisces, you've had a break in with that Seven of Swords energy and you've been really upset with the Five of Cups energy, uh, really upset, feeling really lost, uh, also losing things of emotional value, but more than anything, feeling really upset, uh, Five of Cups energy about a conversation about how you're going to get this money back and then suddenly you guys are thinking to yourself, you know what, Two of Wands, uh, plan of action is to do as much work as I possibly can to recuperate the money. The universe might be saying, well, you don't need to do that. All you need to do is seek some expert advice. Somebody who's an expert in Four of Wands energy. Four of Wands energy is the home. Four of Wands energy is retreat. Four of Wands energy is healing. I'm going to call this healing, okay? You need to get someone who's an expert in how they can heal perhaps the problems of the devil, the debt of the devil, for example. The devil is any type of a problem, all right? Any type of a debt, any type of a financial problem, it's a problem. So you need to get some expert advice in how you can try and heal because you can see the four of wands, they're all laughing, they're all jovial, they're all happy, okay? This is a, an agreement card as well. It's a marriage card. It's a, uni it's a, it's a uniting card as well. Uh, this is consolidation. How can you consolidate the debt, maybe, for some of you guys? Consolidation of debt. Because Four of Wands is a gathering. And when you're gathering, you're consolidating. People are coming together. So you need to get some expert advice, the Hermit energy, on how you're going to consolidate the debt with the Devil energy. You've either had, I feel, um, heal or consolidate the debt. Some of you guys, I'm going to get the camera down on these cards very quickly. Um, I'm going to get the camera down on the cards very quickly, uh, uh, Pisces. I'm going to just quickly go through your reading. So just bear with me. Okay, guys. So this is the layout. We had four cards, remember, come out all at first. And then we've got the three cards for where your thought pattern is here. And then this card here. Let's see if we can just pull this all up a bit. Because I think we've got enough room for you to see everything, actually. The bottom cards aren't very visible. Let's pull these up here like so. That's it. Okay. So uh, for the week, you need to focus on budgeting. I think this is money. Uh, 22nd to the 28th, there is a need to budget your finances. There is also a need to try and find some balance uh, between a couple of things. All right. So find harmony and balance in a situation. Because I feel that in the past, Pisces, some of you guys, you either had a home break in. This is property. Nine of coins is your property. And that could be somebody who's broken into the property. All right, you're upset uh, because you lost uh, things of emotional value, but they were also priceless. Also, uh, money situation as well. But also, some of you guys break into the home or you've had your bank account raided with the uh, Seven of Swords loss. Uh, some of you guys have lost a fortune as well. Nine of Coins there can be a big amount of money and this can be uh, lost. So some of you guys could have just lost a fortune. You've been upset because Five of Cups energy because you've been trying to recuperate the money back. It doesn't have to just be a property break-in or, uh, you know, um, somebody who's stealing from your bank account. Somebody might have stolen Seven of Swords from your bank account with the Nine of Coins. Somebody might have broken into your home, uh, Seven of Swords and the Nine of Coins. But also, you might have just simply Seven of Swords, for some reason or other, lost Seven of Swords, a big amount of money with the Nine of Coins. And you've been really upset, Pisces, 
uh, because you lost this stuff, but also how the fuck am I going to make this money back? Can you see how he's busking? Some of you guys might have been feeling upset because you're thinking to yourself, shit, I'm going to have to go out there and do something I don't want to do to make this money back. Some of you guys might have been feeling upset because you've been having some form of a conversation on how you're going to make the money back or how you're going to get the money back, okay? Uh, your thought process will be, okay, plan of action time, two of wands energy. I'm going to have to do a whole heap of work now, maybe overtime with the ten of wands energy. Maybe, you know, working longer hours with the ten of wands energy. Maybe this is two, three, four jobs just to recuperate all this money back with the king of coins energy. The universe, I think, is saying here, Pisces, okay, you need to seek some expert advice, possibly on how you consolidate four of wands energy, the debt, or how you gather in, this is a gathering, how you gather in with the Four of Wands energy showing here, the debt with the devil energy, okay? How you heal with the Four of Wands energy, the debt, the problem with the devil energy. The problem is here where you lost a load of cash or you lost a load of valuables or you had a, load, you had a break and you had a load of stuff taken. That's the problem with the devil. How are you going to heal that? How are you going to consolidate maybe the debt? If you've had money taken because of a debt here and you're upset because you don't know how you're going to make this money back with the Knight of Cups, busking for his money showing here, then the universe is saying, look, get some expert advice. It's a week for getting expert advice, okay, with the Hermit energy on how you're going to consolidate with the Four of Wands energy, the devil energy. And also the Four of Wands, it's about gathering. So it's all about bringing everything into one space. So how are you going to bring all of this stuff, all of the problems that you've got into one space maybe some of you guys are looking at debt consolidation if you're owing debts or anything like that or maybe this is how you're going to with the four of wands heal the problem with the devil energy showing here you know but the the, the main card is the hermit get some expert advice for some of you guys and that's why you need to focus on two of coins finding that balance and harmony in terms of your finances and in terms of this problem showing up here for the week okay this is going to be a week of budgeting for some of you guys as well going forward let's have a quick look at the um just gonna have a quick look pisces at five cards uh five to ten card read and see if there's any other energy we can pick up on here for the week okay um so and some of you guys also it might be with the seven of swords you've had to move out of a property as well uh, with the Seven of Swords and the Nine of Coins. Nine of Coins is property, uh, property and the Seven of Swords is moving out. So you guys had to move out of a property in the past. You've been feeling lost with the Five of Cups energy. Uh, Knight of Cups, perhaps this is something to do with dreams as well. Something like that. Uh, let's have a look, uh, guys, at what the uh, other energies are. Universe Spirit, any other energies coming in for Pisces? Any other energies? Show me any other energies coming in for Pisces. Any other energies? 22nd to the 28th of April 2019 coming in for Pisces. Show me. Let's have a look at what the other energies are. Uh, the Temperance card, okay, showing up. So this is nice. This is healing of a situation. Could be a Sagittarian. This can also be preparation with the Temperance energy, mediation and reconciliation with the Temperance. It also uh, is the card of having patience. So Temperance energy, three of swords. So this is broken heartedness, okay. I'm seeing here for some of you guys, there's going to be healing in terms of a broken heart coming in for some of you prices difficulties so referring back to the other reading there should be some healing coming in in terms of this situation so yes that's nice the star you've got two healing cards either side of the star lovely beautiful so healing with both cards regarding a really hurtful and difficult situation coming in for some of you pisces people showing up here all right really nice energies uh you've got a breakthrough and also your star is on the you know it's really good there's a breakthrough the tower is an excellent card to show up with positive cards it really is because it says that you know if you've been feeling kind of a bit ignored or not recognized or something like that your star is there's a breakthrough coming here so some of you guys who have been trying to get recognized don't be surprised between the 22nd and the 28th if you get a really big break concerning this energy showing up here. Uh, two of Wands in the reverse. This is unforeseen. So Two of Wands reverse is unforeseen. This energy here, there's a breakthrough here that is unforeseen. There's a surprise coming up here. There's something that you... I mean, Tower is always pretty much unexpected, but there is... You can expect it as well. Two of Wands is unforeseen when it's in the reverse. There's something coming in here as well that may be completely unforeseen too. I feel that there's healing here of a real problem coming in, okay, in the next uh, few days, 22nd to the 28th. However, there might be something that happens here, something unexpected that you just really didn't see. Uh, let me see if I can clarify what that might be. What is this? Uh, what is this? Um, uh, what is this tower? What is this tower about? What is the tower? What is the tower? What is the tower? 
okay um this is also breaking away as well uh, this can be completely stuck in limbo so some of you guys breaking away from a situation that wouldn't move uh, but what's this tower about that's unforeseen uh seven of cups dreams uh, options, opportunities. I feel that there's a breakthrough coming that you just didn't see. And I think that this is about lots of opportunities for some of you Pisces people uh, in terms of work, potentially with the three of coins energy that are presenting themselves to you. So lots of opportunities presenting themselves to you for work. This is completely unforeseen. Some of you guys really didn't believe it would happen. All right, so this might be also be an amazing, and this might be something to do with the three of swords energy as well. You're feeling a little bit down here, but there's healing here. Uh, there's a breakthrough that you did and see coming and this could be lots of opportunities being made available to you in terms of it could be work with the three of coins energy perhaps promotion with the three of coins energy as well could be also property matters with the three of coins any other energies coming in for pisces that they need to know about between the 22nd and the 28th of april show me uh, we've got the Knight of Swords energy showing here. This could be a Gemini in, be individual, a messenger as well. It could be receiving a message from a Knight of Coins, a Virgo individual, or there's a message coming through possibly about work. Uh, this could be a long-term position as well with the Knight of Coins energy. There could also be a Gemini, uh, Libra Aquarius, and a Virgo um virgo uh virgo taurus capricorn some of you guys are coming through some of you guys might have been at cross purposes with another individual as well pisces showing here page of swords you could be finding that some of you guys are involved in an argument here with the page of swords some of you guys at cross purposes with another individual showing up here or uh what could be coming in is there's a slight altercation could be between two people, might be two members of your family as well. Uh, this might be involving working matters as well with the Eight of Coins energy showing up here. But any work that you're doing right now is going to pay off as well with the Nine of Coins energy. You're going to start seeing financial uh, financial gain for the work that you've been putting into a situation as well. Very, very interesting uh, reading. We're going to do this very quickly again before we go. Um, difficulty some of you Pisces have been experiencing with the Three of Swords. This could be arguments with a couple of people here, especially as you have this Page of Swords and the Knight of Coins. So you might have been having arguments with a couple of people here. It could have been a air sign and an earth sign doesn't have to be uh could have been arguments with a couple of people here that could be the three of swords however there should be healing here with the temperance energy and the star concerning this uh also i feel that there could be some information coming in news coming in possibly about a long-term job opportunity here with the uh knight of pentacles energy this might be though a lesser role this might be a chance for you though to do an apprenticeship as well with the page of sword or to learn about uh, a long-term role for example showing here he's usually an apprentice and he's studying and he's educating himself so incoming news possibly about an apprenticeship role with the knight of pentacles energy and that uh, page of swords energy showing here could also be that you've been at crossed purposes with an individual here knight of swords and knight of pentacles two knights can represent crossed wires so some of you guys have had crossed wires could be something to do with this with an individual. Might be some arguments showing up here, though, with somebody that you're having cross wires with. Or well, there could be a couple of people here that you're going to have to stand up against as well. Page of Swords is to stand up for yourself. So you guys might need to stand up against a couple of people as well showing here. Uh, but I do feel an argument is being healed here or a problem is being healed, okay? I am seeing also there's a breakthrough here with the tower that you didn't see coming at all. This could be opportunities to work with your dream team opportunities uh, in a job opportunities to get noticed and to get recognized for your skills uh, for your work that type of thing i'm also seeing hard work paying off with the nine of coins you're going to start to see the fruits of your labors hold the hard work you've put been putting in you'll still start to see the hard fruits of your labors with the nine of coins okay love the energies coming in here um let's have a look uh with the uh final advice card of the um Okay, so we've got the final card, Blessed Be cards, and we just want to check out what the universe, what blessings are being bestowed on you, Pisces, um, for 22nd to the 28th. Universe Spirit, what is the blessings that you're bestowing on Pisces between the 22nd and the 28th of April 2019? Show me. Um, right, uh, a blessing of protection. That's what's being bestowed on you. If you guys have been feeling a bit out of sorts or you've been feeling that things are going to go really terrible, I think that this is a good week because the universe is saying, don't worry, you're being blessed, you're being protected here. Nothing, no harm is coming to you. You're going to be fine. Okay? 
That's your reading, my darlings. If you'd like a private reading with me, uh, all my website details are below. The link to the website is in the comments section and it's also hovering somewhere around this video. You can just click on that. Either one, go through to my website and choose what reading you'd like me to perform for you. All right, that's your reading, my darlings. Love you. Bye-bye.